Hey everybody, Mark Arnstein, we Max Hallmark, and of course, livingnorthtoronto.com. This is vlog number 95, and today we're talking about what to do when you've been hacked on Instagram. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but this just happened to me last night. I was on a phone call, on a conference call, sitting in my car, and it was a very intense conversation. Uh, and you know, we have the bad habit of liking to multitask. And I was checking uh, some emails at the same time while I was on the call, and a message came through over Instagram asking me as a request to someone I had verified to make sure they were a legitimate person. It was a mom who has a, um, shopping uh, profile that she does to help people give them shopping tips of where to go and buy things. She wanted to get authenticated to be an influencer and she wanted to know if I would help her out. So I was like, you know, being a nice guy, sure, no problem. Meanwhile, I'm also paying attention to the conversation I'm having on this conference call as well. Anyways, I accidentally clicked on the link that she sent me and then with literally two minutes, my account was being logged in by somebody else. At that point, I'm messaging her back saying, did you just log into my account? And she's like, no, why? I could, Cause somebody just logged into my account. So now I'm like fully freaking out, right? I'm like sweating bullets. I got sweat pouring down the sides of my head. My armpits got massive sweat stains underneath them. I'm like, this is my social. This is my, my, my lifeline. This is my way of communication to everybody that's out there. What the heck am I gonna do? How am I gonna figure this out? I'm like fully freaking out at this point. I try and log back into my phone, into my Instagram account. I can't get in. It's saying, it's sending some verification code to some random number that I have no idea what the number even is. So I'm like, what do I do? And of course, cause it's Instagram, there's no helpline, there's no support. It's like, it's crazy. Like you got this multi-billion dollar a year company and there's zero live person in which you can speak to to get help when this situation happens to you. So I'm like, okay, what do I do next? Well. There's that good old thing called YouTube. YouTube has a video for everything. So I go into YouTube, I type in how to fix your account when it's been taken over by somebody else. And I find this great guy named Jared uh, Quackenbush, who is a photographer, a drone photographer down in Florida. And he has a full fledged video about how to fix this, God forbid, if it ever happens to you. One of the key things to remember in this, for those who are watching that this has ever happened to you or has not happened to you, hopefully, thankfully, is make sure you have at least a few pictures on your Instagram profile of yourself because part of the way to get your account back is through a video authentication of your photo of, of your face to make sure you are who you say you are. I have to say Jared's video was actually absolutely fantastic. It really literally gives you a step-by-step -step process on which to get your account back from start to finish. Now, the only thing, and he says this in the video as well, is that it might not happen right away on the first time because it can take a bit of delay because once you go through the process of doing the little mini video to get your uh, authentication code back from Instagram, it does give you a message back and it can take up to two to three business days. Fortunately, I was really lucky. It kept coming back to me right away instantaneously, like within a couple minutes basically. And the unfortunate part of that though was it took me over or close to five hours of trial and error to actually get it back. And here's the crazy part about the whole thing was the person who had hacked into my account had realized what I was trying to do because some of the codes had gone back to their, back to their information and started sending me actual emails pretending they were being the help center from Instagram. And as I read through the emails, I realized there's no way this is Instagram help because it doesn't even make sense because the English was so poorly written. And of course I checked on the email address and it was totally a fake email account through Gmail. And I just was like, oh my God. So I wrote back to the person, I'm like, beep, 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 beep. Don't ever call me again kind of a thing. And that was the end of that. So it was a bit of a tedious night. It was a big learning lesson. Um, make sure a couple things, you have your phone or your account uh, double authenticated. Make sure for privacy purposes that it has to be authenticated twice before someone can log into it. Or if you log in from a different device, obviously. Uh, make sure your passwords are very creative and stored in a good spot so no one else can hack into it. And more importantly, 
Um, make sure you save this link somewhere uh, for Jared's uh, Insta, uh, YouTube page because it is totally worthwhile uh, having that as a backup uh, because it was definitely a lifesaver for me. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, <laughs> very useful information to whatever degree you want to use it with. It's up to you. But anyways, thanks for watching. Take care and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.